All right, everybody, for this particular lesson, we're just going to walk through the teacher notes that are already posted in the teacher notes section on the Google Classroom. So a couple of things. One, we're comparing nonlinear systems and growth, right? Growth is about how high vertically something changes relative to its horizontal movement, okay? So how quickly is it climbing on the graph? So in the past, we saw that exponential functions always grow faster than linear, okay? Here's a simple little example. Uh, these functions are just pulled randomly. Okay, this is always going to be the case. So you can see in the tables that are given, right, the exponential function has just a little bit more growth, right, over a period of time from zero to four, whatever units these happen to be, okay? But it is more nonetheless than the linear. Then we pull in a quadratic equation. Okay, we're gonna do similar comparisons. Notice that at x equals 4, the quadratic equation is slightly more than the exponential equation or function, okay? Now, this changes, though, as we get further and further and further to the right, okay, or greater x values. So at this point, quadratic looks better. However, okay, this is huge. Over time, exponential will always win, meaning it will grow at a faster rate. Okay, then both linear and quadratic functions. Okay, so here's a piece of information. The larger the base of the ex, uh, exponential function, the quicker it will exceed, right? So the base is uh, the number that's going to be raised to some power. All right, rate of change is the last thing on these notes. You'll have to look at this on a couple of questions for this assignment. So remember this formula right here, kind of at the top, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then these notes have even defined what these mean. So if you look in the tables here, linear, exponential, and quadratic, you've got different ordered pairs, right? Two is paired with four in this linear function, okay? And really all three of them. But then notice the five is paired with 10 in the linear function. The exponential function five is paired with 32 and the quadratic 5 is paired with 25, okay? So x1, x2, y2, y1, those are parts of ordered pairs, okay? So make sure you compare uh, two specific points to one another, okay? So here's an example, several examples of how to use the slope formula, uh, which is for rate of change, okay? Calculating rate of change. All right, so please, please, please make sure you take a look at these notes and use them because they will help you in this last section. All righty, hope this helps.